Okay, everybody, I am here making a stop by a drive-by. Chris had no idea I was arriving to uh, check out his store. He's the owner of Green Ovations, and it's basically green uh, building products. That's correct. And you have in your hand there that something that's pretty interesting. So what we have here is uh, an insulation product called Ultra Touch by the company Bonded Logic. This is a product made out of 90% recycled blue jeans and cotton. Advantages of this is that unlike other types of bat insulation, there is nothing to worry about. There's no itch, nothing harmful to your lungs. You could actually install this in your underwear without any harm to you, but perhaps to your neighbors. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and it comes in uh, a variety of values from R13 up to R30, uh, 16 inch width and 24 inch width. And comes by bundles with either four or five pieces in a bundle, but standard bad insulation, as you can see here. Um, like I said, no itching. Nice. Nothing to worry about here. And uh, where do they get the jeans? The jeans, they used to actually get, most of the, the clippings were post-industrial, meaning it was prior to being used as a consumer, but it was the leftover clippings from jean manufacturers. Okay, so these haven't been but worn, they worn found around. No, then they actually uh, did some drives to get uh, people to um, donate jeans for Habitat for Humanity and other groups like that so that they could manufacture it for some building projects. And they found that they've had such a tremendous supply from post-consumer jeans that they actually produce 85% of it now from post-consumer recycled denim and, and other cottons. Gotcha. But as you can see, it's quite largely jeans. That's very cool. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. We're going to move around the store pretty quickly. Paper stone, we'll go past we're gonna, that. Yeah, we'll get that later. We have uh, no VOC paints, but more importantly, we have a paint here that's even better than no VOC. It's a paint made from uh, plant oils, flaxseed, thistle, and soy. And this paint is a paint that actually addresses the uh, relevance of toxins inside your home. VOCs have are a term relative to outdoor air pollutants. They have nothing to do with indoor air pollutants. And so you really want something that's better than no VOC for your help, interior home because although v no VOC paints are an improvement, you might actually still be putting in products in your home that are actually bad for air quality. So even after the paint dries, for example, the paint that's behind you, it's paint dried and it's still giving off something toxic. Not, not this one not because there's one. nothing toxic in here. But right. Other paints are, for example, uh, a major manufacturer of a no VOC paint still may have other unregulated toxins in it such as crystalline silicate, ammonia, acetone, benzene, uh, some formaldehyde precursors. Ingredients that have nothing to do with outdoor air quality, but they're bad for indoor air quality. Gotcha. All right, so that's, and he was telling me there's a whole lot to this, so you've got to come visit Chris to learn all about it. Yeah. Um, over here we have uh, glass tiles, 100% recycled glass from a variety of things from windshields to beer bottles to uh, some of their glasses are actually from stained glass factories. So some of it is post-industrial and some of it is post-consumer waste. Your Saturday night is in that green <laughs> there. Yeah, I see a couple bottles of harpoon in there. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> they get a lot of Heineken, so they told me. And this is uh, kind of people's favorite thing to look at here. This is a paper-based, uh, paper composite countertop made by Rich Light. It's 100% recycled paper and cardboard and it's baked in a resin uh, so it makes it significantly stronger than anything like granite. Uh, stronger than granite. Stronger than granite. Granite, if you were to pick up this piece, two, one person on one end, one on the other end, you could carry it right out of here. Granite, it would snap right in half. No, no doubt about it. Uh, this is more stain resistant than granite. It is uh, tougher than granite. It is else can I say about it? And it doesn't get soggy when you wet it. It does not get soggy. It's more water resistant than granite. One of the manufacturers of this type of product manufactured it for skateboard ramps in Seattle. It's, it's, you said, what was that? It's more uh, water resistant than granite? It's more water resistant than granite. How, how can that be granite, for somebody that assumes paper is uh, absorbent? Because it's baked in a, in a phenolic resin, and that's what makes it, um, it's essentially using the baked light technology, whatever you want to call it, uh, formula to make it something that you can cook it together and make it impervious. Granite is very, very porous substance. 
Interesting. So if granite didn't get sealed, which all granite countertops do, they get sealed, then you would actually start to see the effects of, of water on them because of the porosity. And this is something you can't do with granite. And that is carbon that washboard. Yeah. You could try, but you'd end <clears throat> up most likely damaging your... And it's solid, so when you cut it, the interior material is just the same as the surface. Well, this is like wood, so it's it's much easier to work with than granite is. So there's uh -huh. uh, actually a bit more uh, a variety of finishes you can put on it. All right, Chris, on to the next station. What do we got? Uh, we have samples for countertops made from recycled glass. So this is 85% recycled glass in a cement mix. A recipe that is uh, unknown to those of us who aren't working for the company. It's a secret, um, but it has been verified the actual recycled glass content. One of the cleanest and greenest companies out there is called Ice Stone. Nice. All right, moving along, we're at six oh, minutes. Actually, one Isn't other it thing. amazing how these get long? Just an interesting thing. This can be used uh, as a piece of architectural plywood, but often people buy this in a thinner grade and use it as wood paneling. And this is recycled sorghum wheatgrass. Huh, okay. You put a stain on it or a clear coat on it, and it has quite a modern style to it. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Another one here is... Sorry, I don't have all the good questions for you. I'm not prepared. Sunflower hulls. Yes. And what, what do you use that for? This is generally used for, um, once again, you could use it for the boxes of your cabinetry, but it would be get, getting it's like a particle little board expensive, so you're probably kind of going to go with this other less expensive wheat That board. looks a lot like particle board. But it's actually wheat. It's wheat. It's the grass after the harvest. Yeah. Um, this would be used as a, as a veneer. Mm -hmm. This would be on the surface that you're looking at. Right. It's a decorative piece. And that, but it's structural as well. This wheat piece is what Pasha was looking at for putting under the countertop, I think, at one oh. point. Yeah. Because as opposed to like um, the particle board, particle board has a lot of the... Yeah, although there are particle boards out there now that the one that uses a, something called Pure Bond, which is a soy-based adhesive. So there are some particle boards out there that are doing... That are not so bad. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Flooring. Uh, yeah, these are cabinet panels. You can have any one of those made uh, with FSC certified wood and, and low VOC finishes. Bamboo flooring and marmoleum quick tile flooring, which is a uh, do-it-yourself a dream. Yeah, show us just quickly how those snap together. Okay, let me grab one. I already, I already got the demo here. But basically, they snap together and no glue is needed. Um, and so they're super simple to install. Right. Oh, you know what? We have to finish this in under a minute and a half. I can do that real fast. <laughs> and say goodbye. I'm going to do this backwards. So it's generally speaking, I would be starting with this row here, pushing it against the wall. But instead of doing that, since we're in the middle of the room. And those are interlocking. As these you are all interlocking. That's cool. The edge goes down. It just clicks in. Yep. You do not use any glues for this product. It's one of the cleanest, healthiest products out there. It has a cork backing on it, so it's nice and soft. And that's all you need to lay down on the floor. I have my son's, he's just about four years old. I stole some of his blocks from his construction sets. And the trickiest part is just you have two edges now when you get to that second row. And like I said, usually this would be pushed up against the wall and I'd be working backwards. For the sake of demonstration, here I am. Click them together and literally, whoop, that's the problem not being against the wall. It worked perfectly when I saw it the first time. That's okay. <laughs> Beautiful, and then it hinges down your end. Hinges down, so when you get to the end of the wall, it actually starts to get a little tougher and really Chris, snaps into place. Chris, 10 seconds to close out. Chris from Green Ovations, thank you so much. A surprise visit, and uh, we'll stick this up on the web. And <laughs> to say the least. Thanks a lot. It was great meeting you. Thank Bye. you.